Well, let's go from traipsing through Mississippi woods to tasting Mississippi tamales. We go to the Greenville Hot Tamale Festival and watch master chefs as they try to create the ultimate tamale. This is the fifth annual Delta Hot Tamale Festival. Uh, started when Greenville was named the uh, hot tamale capital of the world. According to the um, kind of history around Greenville and um, I guess the unofficial history, it, it came to Greenville from migrant workers at the early turn of the uh, 20th century um, who came from Latin America, Mexico, working the work, work in cotton fields and uh, they brought it with them. And then um, along the years, you know, and the Deltas kind of put their own flavor into it. We've had a great time to my field. A lot of bit, a lot of vendors came in from out of town. A lot of people came down, and uh, and the interest of tamales get bigger and bigger and bigger. And so we just had to be a part of it. Compared to like a Latin tamale, it's a little bit smaller. Um, it's cooked a little bit differently. Your ingredients are a little bit different. Uh, it's, it's simmered in a in, in a spicier chili sauce kind of instead of where a Latin tamale tends to be a little bit more drier these are a little bit more um, some people would call it you know wet wetter or something like that we have a uh, vendor here today who makes a traditional Latin style tamale and we love to have that just to have just to show the different variations of it you know um, it's it, it's different from a, a Delta style tamale Closely guarded family secrets go go into these tamale recipes. Um, they just don't give them out. Yeah, you you you, you got a better chance to become president to find <laughs> out than to find out what's in these tamales these days. <laughs> and uh, and I feel the same way about ours. You know, we're not telling anyone either. So we're passing it on to my children and and my sisters and brothers' children. And we're gonna keep this thing going. And uh, we've been pretty successful so far. But we want to continue to grow the business. And uh, and that's what we're doing now. We, we actually had one contestant this year, um, Mama Rodriguez's tamales. Her recipe is in the Smithsonian Museum in Washington, D.C. As her tamale recipe, it's that, you know, th and that's her trademark that she can really, you know, sell tamales on. As far as the festival goes, the cooking competition, it gets very competitive. You know, anything you can brag about to the other tamale vendors, they love to put that out. This year we kind of debated, do we offer prize money for the cooking competition or do we offer trophies? And talking with the vendors themselves, the prize money is great, but a lot of the professional ones or people that do it for a living, they want the trophies. Because they, you know, it's kind of like bragging rights. Whenever they set up somewhere, you go in their shop, they got trophies on the wall that they've won this, you know, or that or whatever. So it becomes, you know, they kind of turn it into that competition. Uh, we got first place this year. And um, last year we got first place. And so uh, we offer, uh, at the Tamale Fest, we did an offering of our, our beef tamales that we serve here. We also did an offering of a vegetarian tamale that we have, we believe we've got it perfected. Well, you can eat a vegetarian uh, meal without feeling cheated. This one got this thing, let me see. The day of the festival, we have the uh, uh, Miss Hot Tamale Contest, uh, it's kind of like a, a pageant for um, young ladies. We like to see them try to make a dress or part of their apparel out of uh, corn shucks, since that's what you know the tamales are cooked in. On your mark, get set, go! We have a tamale eating contest, however many tamales you can eat in five minutes. I don't really have any secrets, but I just eat, I just eat a lot anyway. That's, that's normal, that's me. <laughs> good weather, good food, good people, great time. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see, subscribe to Mississippi Public Broadcasting. Till next time, I'll be seeing you on Mississippi Roads.